Hello and welcome. This is the first video, which is an introduction in a series of videos on Eureka Doom Editor, which is one of many Doom Editors out there. It's the one that I've been using. And um, I'm just going to do a whole series on it back, you know, back in December, I think it was. I did one long video just showing some basic features of it that after I played with it for a couple of days. Well, I've been using it regularly for the last couple of months, so I thought that I'd do a uh, better series on how to use it. If you are interested at all in game design, whether it be programming or the design of the game, the levels, Doom is a great place to start. It is a great game. Uh, the source code is fully open source, and it's just a great way to get started instead of you know, building from things from, something from scratch to start with something and modify it and learn how things work, see how they work before you jump in and try to do it yourself is a great thing. And Doom is just, uh, it's large in the mod uh, community. So let's just go ahead and just, today I'm just going to show you where the files are, how to get started, and how to get set up. Uh, just a quick overview. Eureka Doom Editor, uh, you can find it at sourceforge.net. So it's, you can just Google Eureka Doom Editor or the link is eureka-editor.sourceforge.net. And that will bring you to their homepage here. And uh, there is a good documentation here with a user manual, key bindings, stuff like that. Uh, you can also search through that using keywords here. I haven't really played with that much. Uh, the project is over on SourceForge, and the download links are here. And of course, you can download this uh, for Windows, Mac, Linux. You can get the source code and compile it yourself. I'm sure BSD as well. If you are on Linux, uh, it should probably be in your repository, so you can use your package manager to install it, um, unless for some reason it's an older version. Uh, than what is currently available. You might want to look into pulling down the source and compiling it. It doesn't take very long to do. Um, now, in this series, I'm going to try to explain everything as best I can with a lot of detail, but I'm also going to assume that you have some idea on uh, how Doom works. And one of the things that you need to have Doom uh, for Doom to work is the WAD file. The WAD file, think of it as kind of like a zip file. It's a big file that contains all the information for the game besides the source code. So you can get the source code and you compile it, uh, or you can just get a binary executable of it for the game. But all the art, the, the sprites, the wall textures, the floor and ceiling textures, the levels, the music, all that comes from the WAD file, which is completely modifiable. But although the game itself, the source code, the program is free under the GPL license, all the artwork and assets that are inside the WAD file are not. They're under a copyright. So you're going to either need a copy of that, or you can get a, which is not free and open source, if I just said that. Uh, so you'd have to buy a copy of Doom. I still have all my CDs from the 90s, so I have my copies. Uh, but if you don't have it, you can always use Free Doom. So the point of Free Doom was it's a project that basically redoes all that proprietary stuff in the WAD file, all the assets, all the sprites, wall textures, uh, graphics, fonts and text, and stuff like that. And it replaces all of them, and it's just a WAD file that you can install. Now, you can get it here at freedoom.github.io. Uh, you can get that WAD file there. Or again, if you're on Linux, it's as simple as going to your package manager, searching for Freedoom, and it will, will install it. You also need Doom Executable, which there are many varieties out there. I use PR Do Boom Plus. So that's PR Boom Plus. I should have brought that up. Let's see. PR Boom Plus right here also. Uh, so it's PR Boom I'm assuming is how you pronounce that, per boom, uh, dash plus sourceforge.net. And you can go to the links here and you can download um, that. But again, if you're on Linux, it should be in your package manager already. And there's also other executables. So if you have one that you prefer over this, uh, you can do that. There are some that have way more advanced features. I like PR Boom uh, Plus because it's, it's a lot like the original engine, but with a lot of, you know, upgrades and tweaks without making it too much of a different game. Uh, so those are things you're going to need. You're going to need Eureka Doom Editor. You're going to need a WAD file. If you don't have, you can get the free Doom one. And you're going to need some sort of executable to run the game after you create your levels. Uh, so PR Boom Plus is just one of them. There's also Chocolate Doom, Vanilla Doom, and many others. Again, if you're on Linux, just search your package manager for all these, and it should be available for you. If you're running some other operating system, you might have to go out and find them manually at the um, addresses I just recommended. Uh, so once you download it, 
and install it, start the program, and that's what we'll pick up in the next tutorial, and we'll start looking at uh, the concepts of how uh, Doom levels are created and uh, the different elements of that. So I do thank you for watching this little introduction. Uh, be sure to check out the link in the description to the full playlist if you don't already have the full playlist going. And as always, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.